Hey guys, this is Dr. Kako with Avicenna Health. It's a great day to care for our health and wellness. You may have heard that Omicron was discovered about 13 days ago or so in South Africa. The first case of Omicron in the United States was documented in California a few days ago and now 10 states have documented the new variant Omicron. There's a lot of panicking on the media in general regarding this new virus or new variant of the virus and I thought I may shed some light about what we know and about what we don't know about the new variant. What we know so far that there are 32 mutations in this new variant compared to the original novel COVID-19 virus. I'm hoping that we will not have to learn all the Greek alphabet, because we started out with alpha, and then beta, gamma, delta, and so forth, and now it's Omicron. So Omicron has some mutations that were noted in different variants such as alpha variant and delta variant. We know that delta variant is more transmissible and we think if delta and omicron has the same mutation it would make it more transmissible. Whether if it's worse than delta or better we don't know. Somebody may ask I got the vaccine so is it going to be helpful? Researchers believe that if you had the vaccine, you have antibodies against the virus, which is going to help for the most part taking care of different variant. But we know it's definitely going to be better than nothing in terms of no vaccine. Unfortunately, most people who are getting severe disease nowadays are those who are not vaccinated. Those are the people who have high risk to develop severe disease from different variants. So I urge everybody to consider taking the vaccine and to leave all of these misconceptions about the vaccine. Some people have misconception about the vaccine. They think if they get the shot, they would get the disease and this is not correct. I want to touch base on some important concepts related to the spike protein. The spike protein is very important piece of the virus that will help the virus invade the human cell and try to generate more and more viruses. The spike protein has two different pieces or elements. One you can consider is going to knock the door, the other it's going to open the doorknob and let the virus in to generate more and more viruses. So when we talk about vaccination, we talk about pieces of the virus, not the whole virus. We're talking about one element of the virus that would be sufficient to trigger an immune reaction. Immune reaction symptoms may include fever, headache, and sore or local sore from the vaccine. It is not considered infection, it is considered inflammatory process that help your body to get prepared to fight the virus when you get a real infection. So again, the spike protein, it is not the whole virus. It is just a piece that we may use in the vaccine, we inject the vaccine in the body and the immune reaction against that spike protein is going to help when you get the whole virus in your body. So there's no reason to panic about the variant, but there is a very important point about being cautious. Wear your mask, avoid going into big public gathering or congregation without a mask. Use social distancing when appropriate. Get your vaccine or get your booster shot. Hopefully, we will be able to live with this COVID-19, which I think is gonna be similar to our life with flu. Every year we get a flu shot and 
apparently we may have to do this every year with different variant again i'm hoping that we will not have to learn all the greek alphabet but that's the reality we have to keep our economy open we have to keep ourselves safe i hope this is helpful if you have any comment or feedback or a question please leave your comment below and make sure to like and subscribe